Well, good morning. It's a little, little bit hectic in our house all this morning. Um, I don't know that you can see out uh, the window there. We just moved to one side. We've got scaffolding being put up. Uh, we have an issue with our roof, so we're having to um, get some um, roofers in to repair the um, to repair damage. Basically, I won't go into that. And then um, Aaron's cracking on with his homework. Um, he's just revising a little bit of history, and then he's going to have to write an essay shortly. So I thought I'd quickly um, do this video for you, um, and then I can get back to being a teacher for the day. What have I got for you today then? Um, Jehovah Ra. I feel like Ra today, okay? So I've got my cup of tea to calm me down. <laughs> and also this bit of scripture is going to help as well because this means the Lord is my shepherd. And it says in Psalm 23, one to three, this is a well-known piece of scripture. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Isn't that great? That's probably a, an apt scripture for me today. Now, thinking about this, okay, have you done those little personality tests online? I know like on Facebook it says, what animal are you? And you, you select various traits uh, of yourself and you come up with like you know a lion or a, you know or, or I don't know uh, a tortoise <laughs> I know if I'd like to have mine done I mean I haven't done one but if, if I had to be an animal choose an animal it'll probably be something that flies I'd like to be an eagle I'd like to soar high and I don't know whether that's a biblical influence um, or not but that would be something that you know I'd like to be However, according to the Bible, okay, the creatures that we are most like are sheep. Okay, it's not a particular image that I want to be. I don't particularly want to be a sheep because it's not very flattering, is it? Because sheep are notoriously thick, okay? Um, <laughs> I mean, they eat things which aren't good for them, okay? And they're always going into danger. And not only that, if one goes, the whole flock goes. And they can't defend themselves against predators, so thankfully, um, if we are sheep, uh, and, and basically it's true really, isn't it, okay? We can relate to this as being God uh, is like our shepherd. And, and faithfully, God tends to all our needs. So that's a, a real encouragement, isn't it? Okay. So primarily, the meaning of a shepherd is the rah. And, and it's, it means to feed um, or to tend or to uh, lead to pasture, lead to a safe place. <clears throat> um, just as it's described in this psalm here. So it's the Lord is the shepherd, you know, and that's his job description. So if that's his job description, what's the job description of the sheep? Well, the sheep just has to trust the shepherd, okay? And we have to follow him. See, the thing is, we do like to follow our own instincts, don't we? Do our own thing, okay? But if we follow Jesus, okay, and trust in him, okay, one, um, it's showing a respect for the shepherd because if we don't do um, what he's asking us, if we don't follow him, it's, it's disrespectful. And it also means we don't trust him. But if we do follow him, it's a real encouragement because he will lead us to true green pastures, pastures where we can uh, be at rest. We, we have all our needs provided. Yet if we do our own thing, we're not guaranteed to be um, uh, living or be uh, led in our own or um, uh, end up in pastures which are particularly green, green and restful. So my encouragement is, is just be that sheep, trust in Jesus, your shepherd, and he will lead you to green, restful, peaceful pastures where it says in scripture, um, leads you besides quiet waters and refreshes your soul. Amen. So, oh, no distractions. No, I wasn't disturbed. That's great. I'll catch you tomorrow.